All right, guys. Let's go back to what the super genius was saying. Let's hear what he's saying. Let's go back to the analogy of Einstein's film equation of the trampoline, trampoline curving to generate gravity. So basically, Einstein said, gravity is the result of space-time curving like the surface of a trampoline. And basically, what I say, what we say in this paper, that's not real. Is that it's a cartoon. Yes, that's another cartoon. And when space-time curves, it doesn't just curve, but it curls. That's an animation. Just like water going down the drain, and that generates spin. Water. Angular momentum. Water going down the drain from the computer simulation animation generates the spin of the universe. It, it creates a super torque. Hold on, let's just re let's recap what he just said here. Let's go back to the analogy of Einstein's field equation of the trampoline, trampoline curving to generate gravity. So basically Einstein said, gravity is the result of space-time curving like the surface of a trampoline. And basically what I say, what we say in this paper is that yes, and when space-time curves, it doesn't just curve, but it curls just like water going down the drain and that generates spin, angular momentum. And that's the source of the spin of all things. The spin of all things. So when we add torque, to add, space time, the solution to gives us time. a very different picture than a perfect, sphere. a perfect sphere. It generates a torus structure, okay, which is a sphere with two holes in the middle at the north and south pole. The result is a double torus structure, a double torus manifold that has this dynamic, uh, which is uh, viewed here from above. Uh, as uh, a rotating uh, yin yang sign, if you'd like. This thing. If you'd like. Wait a minute. You mean this? <laughs> yeah, uh. thousands and thousands and millions of miles from where we were the year before. So to think of our solar system as some flat structure that's, uh, that's stationary is again the result of isolating a system and trying to analyze it. And, and typically when you do so, you get the wrong data. As soon as you open the system and you realize the solar system is inside the galaxy and moving through space, then you realize that actually we're making a pilgrimage. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. Well, okay, now you're starting to make more sense, Nassim. Uh, Nassim. So you, now you just wanted to open the system because, you know, you, uh, you were scared or ashamed or embarrassed that science isolated the Earth system, and thus it was a closed system. So you wanted, to, you didn't agree with uh, mainstream science, and uh, you wanted to open the system because Earth is a closed system. And you just said you wanted to open it. So once you make it an open system, oh, so you disagree with Bill Nye the Science Guy? Okay, I see. So you disagree with Bill Nye? No. One thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. There's no place to go. There's no place to throw your trash. <laughs> throw your trash away. All right, well, let's see here. You're trying, Nassim, Nassim, you're trying to, uh, you're trying to figure out uh, if Earth is a closed or open system, so then, all right, so let's see here. Oh, you're trying to figure out Einstein's field equations, you're trying to unify them. I can, I can respect that. So let's see here. The Earth, you go to Google Earth, Clo uh, closed in open system space earth at so earth is a closed system 
Energy in the form of solar radiation passes from the sun through the atmosphere to the surface. The Earth in turn emits radiation back out to space across the system boundary. Hence, energy passes across the Earth's system boundary, but not mass, making it a closed system. Earth as a closed system. Earth itself is a closed system. Space capsule is possible exception. It's possible exception, but it's man-made. Um, meteorite is another possible exception. There's a lot of excep exceptions and variables to the Earth, um, uh, let's see here, being an open system. Earth is, wait, is it, Earth is an open system? Almost closed. Matter enters as dust and rock from space. Matter leaves when we send satellites, probes, or astronauts into space. Wait a minute. Is Earth a closed system? Or is it is it almost closed or is it is it open or closed? Bill Nye says it's closed. Can't we can't leave, so the moon landings aren't real. Nassim Haramine is open. Well, let's see what um Einstein, <laughs> you know, the guy that uh, Nassim Haramein tends to want to uh, correct, he wants to ratify his mistake. I have come to believe that the motion of the Earth cannot be detected by any optical experiment. Okay, so if Einstein can't <laughs> detect the motion of the Earth by any optical experiment, uh, what what experiments, what machines do you use to uh, test the motion of the Earth through space? And what other machines are you using to uh, test the motion of the sun flying through space? Oh, and I also need you to uh, give me a picture of a galaxy. All you people... <laughs> no, not, not you people. N n uh, Nassim Haramein. I need you to... Uh, to give me a picture of the uh, the picture you took of the galaxy. So like, um, what camera, you know, what camera satellite probe, when did you shoot it up into space? How is the Wi-Fi working uh, millions of light years away to get farther enough to go back and say, hey, cheese universe, you're on camera, take, take the picture. So, you, so then you got the galaxy in those pictures. I need the I need to see those pictures because in Carl Sagan's books if you look at uh, Carl Sagan's book uh, The Cosmos, it was called Cosmos, it's all artist renderings. It's all uh, paintings. So if you it was all paintings and drawings before of, of galaxies and it was all uh, fake make believe. And then it changed to CGI and computer animations. So what that's not real. That's not a real thing. Let's see here. So what you get, what you get is uh, scientists today think deeply rather than clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Today scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments and they wander through equation after equation and eventually build a structure which has no basis in reality. My conclusions differ from Einstein's and, that, and to that extent disprove Einstein's theory. My explanations of natural phenomenon are not so involved as his. They are simpler and when I am ready to make a full announcement it will be seen that I have proved my conclusions. Oh, it's been seen, my friend. Since action and reaction are coexistent, it follows that the supposed curvature of space, a la Einstein, is impossible. So there you have it. Man, I used to respect all you guys. I used to love you. I watched, uh, I watched Thrive. Remember that, everyone? I watched Thrive. Uh, I'm sure you did, too. Now, so, so how does uh, how does the vacuum of space exist next to your uh, your open system? 